Hello everyone, I am Ashwini. Welcome to our channel Evolve with English. In today's video, we are going to learn about class 7th English Honeycomb Poem The Shed by Frank Flynn. Do you know what is a shed? A shed is a place where we keep our things like vehicles, animals, tools and it is away from home. Here in the present poem, the poet is also having a shed and he wants to visit that shed one day. Let's find out whether he went into that shed or not. There are four stanzas, five lines each and a couplet at the last. Let's get started. The shed. There is a shed at the bottom of a garden. With a spider's web hanging across the door. The hinges are rusty and creak in the wind. When I am in bed, I lie and listen. I will open that door one day. In the first stanza, the poet says that he is having a shed. And it is located at the bottom of their garden. It has spider's web hanging across the door. It shows that the door is not opened so, for so long. Hinges means the metal joint uh, which joins the door and the wall. And it uh, allows door to, op to be opened and closed. So, these hinges are rusty. And because of this rust, it creaks. What is creak? Creaking is sound. Creaking sound. Okay, because of the rust, the hinges are creaking in the wind and when the poet is lying in his bed, he keep on listening this creaking sound and he decides that he will open that door one day. So here he expressed his wish to open the door of that shed. In the next stanza, there is a dusty old window around at the side. With three cracked panes of glass, I often think there is someone staring at me each time that I pass. I'll peep through that window one day. In the second stanza, the poet says that there is a dusty old window around at the side. At the side, there is very old and full of dust window and it has three panes cracked panes of glass. Whenever the poet is passing from that place, he doubt that someone is staring at him. In spite of this doubt, he wants to peep, means look through what is in that window, what is in that shed. One day he will peep through that window. Means one day the poet will look through what is inside that window and what is inside that shed. In the third stanza, the poet says, My brother says that there is a ghost in the shed who hides under the rotten floor board and if I ever dare to set foot inside, he'll jump out and chop off my head. But I'll take a peek one day. His brother, the poet's elder brother, told that there is a ghost in that shed who is hiding under the rotten floor board. And if the poet ever dare to set foot inside the shed, means if the poet ever tried to go inside the shed, the ghost will jump out and chop off his head. So here his brother warns him that there is ghost inside. If he tries to go inside, the ghost will chop off his head. In spite of this warning, the poet wants to take a peek one day. Again, the poet decides that one day he will take a peek in that shed. In the last stanza, the poet says, I know that there isn't really a ghost. My brother tells lies to keep the shed for his den. 
there isn't anyone staring or making strange noises and the spider has been gone from his web since i don't know when i'll go in that shed one day soon but not just yet frank flynn in the last stanza the poet says that he knew that there is not any ghost and his brother is telling lies because he want that shed to keep for himself to keep for himself to hide as his secret place to hide his den means secret hiding place he wants to keep that place for himself so the poet's brother wants to keep that place for himself the poet knew that and he also knew that there isn't anyone who is staring at him or making noises and the spider the spider also has gone away from his web and the poet don't know from when the spider has gone from his web so there is no spider there he knew all these things but still he again says that i'll go in that shed one day soon but not just yet in this last couplet in this last two lines the poet expressed his wish that he will go soon into that shed but not just yet it shows that he still has some fear he still has this hesitation to go in in that shed that is it for today hope you like the video if you do like the video please do like share and subscribe to our channel stay connected happy learning and keep on evolving with the knowledge of english language on the channel evolve with english thank you